of this project, there has been a lot of changes that needed to be made. This is Twig right here. And um, he's done, ready to be animated. Um, my job is to make the armatures for this fine project. This is my first attempt here. As you may be able to tell, it is disproportionate out of whack in uh, several ways. So, in the beginning I started testing all these different ways to create hair and this is more of a thick twine and this is more of a thin one and then it was, I did some hairspray or some wax as well trying to get it to stay stiff and keep its shape. I tried curls. Um, I curled these with a pencil and sprayed them so they would stay. Um, I tried braiding some and I tried to get some of them to just go straight. Um, this is, the dark ones are also just a wig that people would wear. Um, and when we tried to connect it onto the characters, it didn't work so well. So that was one of the learning processes that we had to go through. Experiments, experiments. launched us forward because we just had to keep looking forward and I think definitely like experiencing this whole thing with friends and going and just kind of building off of each other's ideas and just seeing us all down and then seeing us all happy that definitely helps <laughs> um, I just oh there we go I got oh, it. nice now we have the current armature design with custom made brass joints uh, being that this uses metal for its opposability rather than a unreliable wire substitute I believe this will last longer retain its shape and hopefully not break until we are finished filming the entire movie it's really hard not to just want to give up on this project and do something that's a lot simpler because you have to go through all of these changes that I just showed with the hair and make, um, just go out and buy flowers and stuff as a substitution because there are many, many things that don't work in animation and the only way you find that out is by experiencing it and realizing how awful it came out and thinking okay well where's my plan B and then where's my plan C and it's there are many days where we just have like nothing work and then we get absolutely nothing done because we've had to start square one so many times just in that one day and so we all just want to give up sometimes and just like take a nap or something like that. The Crusoe project taught me quite a lot of things to be honest since like the very beginning to now, there's been just so much experimenting because there's no set rules in stop motion. You've just got to keep going and inventing and creating things with your mind, using your brain. Um, because you can't just like Google like stop motion for dummies. You won't find all the stuff you need. You won't find like how do you make fake trees and stuff. Like I've been learning a cover of a song. The best part is it's only three chords, and those same three chords are repeated throughout the duration of the song. That gives a lot of artistic freedom to mess up the three chords and throw in your own uh, jazz, ingenuity, pizzazz, panache, and fire to make for a truly customized experience. I believe the key thing that I learned here is that in the realm of creativity, it's okay to issue your old thoughts and practices of what you believe to be the norm of a certain procedure. For example, making an armature that wire uh, in favor of something new. It's very difficult sometimes. to go through that like uh, together and figuring out what does and doesn't work and then when we get that end product we're
we're so happy that we actually have it and have been